Are we good? Yes. Are we enjoying devolution? Yes. Amen. <laughs> the Lord is good, isn't it? Yes. Amen. Understanding spiritual warfare. I want you to note this down. The enemy will not participate in anything that relates to your life until he has turned it into a warfare. The enemy will not participate or engage in anything that relates to your life until he has turned it into a warfare. Yes. He will turn it into a warfare. Sometimes we can tack the price of I inherited. It was in my lineage. It is from where I was born. I was born in poverty or I was named after poverty. But the enemy must turn it into warfare. Because warfare makes, let me use a word you will understand. Warfare is customizing what would have been general into an individual. In this sense, that while 100 families are breaking, none can be compared to the other. So it is not obvious. It is not what is happening. As much as so many people have no money, the effect of having no money is individualistic. The impact is you who feels it. So we said every human being goes through a battle. You are in a battle. Life is about fighting. We stopped yesterday looking at why the Bible puts it this way. Put on the all armor of God. Faeni sila sote sa mungu. Faeni sila sio makwanda ya kugraduate. Faeni sila na sio sila tu sila sote sa mungu. Ebu nipe kwa version raise baba. Put on the all armor of God. Listen, listen and I want you to be very careful. One of the schemes of the enemy and I want you to hear this. One of the schemes of the enemy is that he's a schemer. He's a liar. He's a trickster. Yes. And one of the lies he has planted is that there is no war so that you can relax. Listen, if poverty was not a spirit, you would be having money today. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Kwanza na ulise inakula pesa asivu huko na hiyo pesa. Mulise, ni nini inakukatasa pesa? Kumbe ni mekupeleka mbali kukulua. Kukulua mbaka ukue na ayo. And I want you to remind me to tell you something about this money here. The enemy tailors a battle to an individual. Listen, you cannot share your financial struggle with another man's financial struggle and have the same effect. Since the water took a broke, like any effect, not of all. I'm talking to you. All of us go through marital challenges, but the effects are different. So while all of us are struggling, the enemy has tailored it into a warfare. And the Bible says he has schemes and strategies. He has what? Schemes and strategies. The Bible says he has, he has arrows. He chooses which one to throw to you. Yeah. Let me prove my point. That's why you share your problems with people and they don't understand why you're going through what you're going through. You know what I'm talking about? It is hurting you, and you are like, my life is broken. I've gone through this issue. And the person you are talking to is like, you too. I mean, because nobody feels the other person's pain. And that is why your relationship with your spiritual authority is very important. Because pastors are given the capacity to fill the ship. That's why ministry is not a profession. It's a calling. 
No matter how much you have a contention with a pastor, when you're going through serious issues, you look for one. When you are through with the counselor, when you are through with the lawyer, when you are through with the pastor, I mean with the doctor, guess who is the last option? Pastor. And sometimes it's not because they have the money. Sometimes because you want somebody to feel you. The Bible says priests who are chosen from among men, men who can be touched by the feelings of their infirmity. That's why you wonder how a pastor can survive with everybody's problems and still smile. A calling is God's ability to allow men to feel people and sometimes without being infected, but affected. That's why we can go to a funeral and cry and leave the same funeral and go to a wedding and preach. I've done it twice or once. I have preached in a funeral and moved immediately and wedded somebody and in the afternoon opened somebody's house. And I complied with all. Now let me show you something that I think is important. Naomba ni ongeke swali leo. Shetani atajaribu kukuonyesha kwamba ya mwenzako ni vita na yako ni changamoto. Lakini matukio ni the same. When I'm through with this lesson I want to teach about curses. Because Kuna watu wanafanya kasi kuliko watu wengine. Lakini wenye wafanyi kasi, wakona pesa kuliko wenye wanafanya kasi. Na kuna watu pesa yao haipiti mali. Ikifika mahali fulani, iyo kitu inakuja. Inakurudisha mpaka pale. Mpaka ile mangu yote mpia ulinunua imeseeka yote. Ndi upate wim, another wingu ya kununua mangu. Kuna mali haupiti ki feather. And that's what I want to address, how the enemy tailors warfare. And try to paint an image kwamba yake ni mbaya na yako ni changamoto tu. To answer, the book of Job, how the enemy tailors warfare to confuse. Oh, to look wapi. So take everything the master has set out for you. So the master said it for you that is efficient, well-made weapons of the best materials and put them to use so that you will be able to stand up to everything the devil throws your way. Keep going. Let me show you something. Oh, you're, you're, you're really confusing me because you're making me now want to preach something else. This is no afternoon athletics contest that well that well walked away from and forget about in a couple of hours no this is for the kids a life or death fight to finish against the devil and all his angels remember i said every demonic attack as a natural agent wesi kuta shetani kwa barabara atatumia mtu by the way, when God wants to touch Satan, as King God wants to say, Satan is coming to my neighbor. When God wants to touch Satan, He comes to my neighbor. He comes to my neighbor. So, as King is so much my neighbor, I'm possessed. So, as King is so much my neighbor, I'm more lift. Waka tu kona kamud. Satan na pone hapo use me kito. Kenye mutu my neighbor na ko trust. Itam jukwa miyakatano. Kukubali wenye ule se mayoki. Because I could trust. Atatumia wale watu mewapea moyo wako. This is, keep going brother. Verses 13. Be prepared. You are up against far more than you can handle on your own. That's why you put on God's armor. Take all the help you can get. Every weapon God has issued. So that when it's all over, but the shouting, eh, you would still be on your feet. Keep going. 
Of course, he brings truth. Righteousness will come to that later. Go to Job chapter 1. Very interesting scenario here. Job chapter 1. The first thing I want you to note is that every battle you go through is tailored to frustrate your purpose. Vita vyako vyote, malengo ni kufrustrate your purpose. Kama shetana nasa kukusungusha hii dunia, miaka miyamoja, miaka msini, miaka yako yote, ukitangatanga kwenda uku na uku na uku na uku, ukishukulikia chakula na rent, na hakuna kitu ngine, na maisha yako ilikuwa makusudi ya mungu kwako, imeunganishwa na kisasi chako, ama jamii yako. Wewe ndio ulikuwa mwanzo mpia ya jamii. If the enemy can take you round the circle, he will have succeeded. Give me verses 7 and 8. Let's begin from verses 8. The Lord said to Satan, From where have you come? Then Satan, of course, answered, From roaming around on earth. Remember what we talked about yesterday? How the, 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 the lion is a principle of hunting. Look at verses 8. The Lord said to Satan, listen to these words. Have you considered and reflected on my servant Job? For there is none like him. By the way, God has your testimony. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. Yes. Have you considered there is none like him? Blameless, upright man. One who fears God with reference and abstain from and turns away from evil. You can read. You will be a preacher soon. Because he honors God. So everything Job does is honor. Then Satan answered. And I want you to hear those words. Satan answered the Lord, does Job fear God for nothing? Why does Job fear God? Have you not put a hedge of protection around him and his house and all that he has and every site? You have blessed the work of his hands and conferred prosperity and happiness upon him and his possession have increased in the land. Now listen, the devil knows that. The devil knows the protection of God over your life. That's why the definition is, he's an upright man. He fears God. In other words, he has put on the armor. When Ephesians says put on the armor, it's because we have an enemy. The day you put down the armor, he will hit you hard. Now, look at how the devil attacked Job. Number one, there were three platforms of attack. And it happens to everybody. We say there are two expressions of demonic attack. Number one is public and loud. Number two is silent and private. Kuna wale shetani anajua, ukitaka kuwa uyo mutu, mfinyilie chini. Ile vitu inamsumbua isikuwe siri. Ukimweka kwa hiyo hali stress itamushukulikia. Waja tembe barabarani aki wasemekana ni mtu mungwana ana vita na mtu lakini sirini. Lakini kuna wale shetana na ni kierere. So you fight them in public. You create a scandal. You mess up their character. But the effect is the same. The bottom line is to frustrate your purpose. How did the devil attack Job? Number one, and that's how everybody's attacked. Number one is spiritual. His relationship with God. The first area of your attack is spiritual. 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 How does he begin that? He will create some, some very obvious concerns. Prayer is taking too long. Church is taking too long. Giving has become too much. The pastor is too aggressive. The pastor doesn't come from my tribe. The pastor seems to be buying clothes from our money. My tribe was not supported when there was a funeral. When I was bereaved, they did not show up. And before you know it, you are in a cosmopolitan church, but you have a group of kikuyus, Kalenjins, Luyas, Turkanas, Mutuetu, 
akituhitaji I'm coming to that That's called the soulish The spirit one is when the enemy begins to discredit Go to Ephesians let me show you something Put on the whole armor Can we define the armor brother Let's put on the armor Go to fast which fast is that Go to the next fast Quickly brother Keep on, keep on going, keep on going. Is it verses 15? What does it say? Look at verses 15. Verses 15 quickly. So stand and hold your ground, having tightened the wide band of truth. What is the armor? Truth. What does he call it? A belt. He uses a language of a soldier. It's a belt, but it is truth. Amen. When the enemy wants to attack your spirit, he attacks truth. Either by distortion or by denial or by creating lessness towards your advantage. For example, the enemy knows the power of prayer. Listen, Satan knows the power of prayer. He cannot contend with you in prayer. He will only seduce you out of prayer. That's a battle. If you are struggling with prayer, the enemy knows how your prayer life is linked to your progress. Yeah. And he would even use people to criticize you. Maombi, maombi, maombi. Sikia. Kuna watu ambao breakthrough yao siyo kwa giving ni maombi. Amani yao hiko kwa maombi. Haiko kwa pesa hiko kwa maombi. He will discredit things like the word of God. That is why it's on my Bible yo, the misi pastor. At the pastor na ubiri sana kwa nini Bible school. All of a sudden you buy a newspaper. But you can't read the Bible. So you read how many people died. You watch news, but you can't watch a spiritual program. All your friends are storytellers. News anchors. Wametumwa mission. Mungina amenda southwest, wamenda north. Tukikutana jiona, say, hey, hey, hey. Tukutana sirikwa, niko na mushane. Job was attacked spiritually. His relationship with God. Listen, your victory in warfare could be linked to your spiritual life. Let me, let me give you a very good example. Most of my battles are spiritual. Pastor. Most of my battles are spiritual. Because when I am weak spiritually, my delivery becomes low. And my impact loses meaning. So the enemy will attack me in the area of prayer, the area of the word, the area of worship, the area of meditation, because that is where my strength is. Are you with me? I am a transmitter of the virtues of grace. I transmit healing. I transmit peace. I transmit love. I transmit reconciliation. I transmit the gospel. Where does it come from? The spirit. So my battles are spiritual. That's where my strength is. Number two, the enemy attacks through the soul. That's exactly where Job was attacked. By the way, let me give you a homework before, before I go further. Was Job tempted or tested? Was Job tempted or tested? Job ali charibiwa, ali testiwa, ama ali temtiwa. Was Job tested or tempted? Wangabarasema tempted? Wangabarasema tested? That's your homework. 
Because listen, the power of knowledge is understanding its context. So if you think Job was tested or tempted, the effect that information perceived by you determines the impact it has on you. For example, it's, it's like money. How you perceive what you give determines the impact. If you think you are giving money, that is the impact. If you think you are giving an offering, that's an impact. If you think you are giving your heart, my money represents my life. That's why in offerings, it's very interesting. Some people gave money, some people gave property, some people gave their animals, some people gave their children. All of them are called offerings, but they represent the different dimensions on people's hearts. Let me devolve it. <laughs> the soulish attack is linked to our social life. You are relationships. It comes to marriage, family issue, raising children, your place of work, your businesses. That is the soulish attack. And the enemy knows some of you, you are strength. The gate of your breakthrough is in the soulish realm. Huh? Yes. Your attacks are on the soulish realm. So everything that is social never works for you. Shetani akushambuli hafia, akushambuli, akushambuli maombi, and akushambuli socially. Those are people who are affected a lot by social conversations. Atakisha marafiki sako amekusaliti, watu amekusema, mtu amekwaribia jina. I wanted to tell you a story but we are online. <laughs> because it's, it's, it's a very interesting story. I introduced somebody to the high office in this country. I took somebody, I was introduced to this, this big offices here. So I took a friend. So a friend had an opportunity to talk to yes. one of those. Yes. And you know what he told the person? Be careful about this young man. <laughs> and you know what the person told me? When we were walking out, he said, by the way, you are friend, which ended through your invitation, has told me something about you. Social. Can I prove it to you? How many of you have lost the joy of friendship because of betrayal? That's right. But guess what? Your strength is in trusting people. The enemy has turned your trust into your suspicion because your gate of breakthrough is in the social life. You are, you are agents are what we call destiny helpers. But you've been betrayed to an extent you have shut that door and you are now trying to pray which is not your gate. You are generous. Everybody you've given money went away with your money. You are a giver. That is where your breakthrough is. You feel joy. You feel excited. You want to participate in church. I love a pastor like Kuomba Lon. Nakashindwa kulipa. Wakatu li insist aka ubiri kusu honoring the man of God. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? When you insist that ukaambia mtu amwambie aka threaten kukulaani. Ukahama kanisa ngine na ukasema mimi na mapasta na pesa yangu. Let, let me prove it to you. Naonekana mnaniona kama nimetoka Garissa. Wangapi wenu uliwacha kusaidia watu? Kwa sababu watu uliwasaidia, walibadilika wakakuwa mafisi. Good. Ulilete mtu kwako. Baraka sako is linked to help. Ukafalisha mtu nguo. Akafaa nguo ulimpea. Akienda kukusema. <laughs> I remember one of my sons met me on the street putting on the suit I gave him. Mr. You, you know, and I was like, Toa suit yangu. You know what I'm talking about. Social. The man you trust as a husband betrays you. So you shut your heart 
and say, let me die my death. The gate of your breakthrough was in trust, social. You did business with someone and they took advantage of you. You shut the gate of your breakthrough. You succumbed to the soulish battles. There are women here who cannot marry. There are men here who cannot trust. There are people living in the same house. But that's all they are doing. Living in the same house. Sleep in the same bed. But that's all they do. Sleep in the same bed. If you want to know that is your gate, look at the bad news that comes your way towards your area of competence. If you are a giver, you will hear a lot of, you will either attract unfaithful people or you will hear a lot of people talking a lot of negativity about your practice. Yeah. Let me give you a good example. If God gave you the right church that has your breakthrough, the devil will make sure the bad news you hear about that church will make you relocate and then find another church later. Listen. Men of God are not our men of God. Men of God are your man of God. Listen, girls and boys, Rahab was a harlot to everybody except to the two spies. Don't address Rahab as a harlot when you are a spy that needs to be protected. I hope that will get home. The harlot became the great grandmother in the lineage of David and Jesus. Your enemy is not our enemy. You remember we talked about decisions last week, part one? Some of your decision is somebody else's foolishness. People wonder why you would make that decision. Once upon a time, in a place called Cherangani, a place called Cherangani, a, a, lady, a lady gets a child at age 46, after being married for over all, almost 19 or, or, yes, 19 years, and she got a baby. From a man of God called James Ngetich, some of you might have an idea of who James Ngetich was. Very powerful man of God that existed at some point. He went to be with the Lord. That man came to our village, and there was a spirit of barrenness in one of the villages. And that man prayed for women. And they gave their lives to Christ. And they got babies. So one woman brought her child and gave it as an offering. So I've stayed. My husband had gone away. You know, I succeeded to seduce him back. And we got a baby. So I, has, I had accepted that I will not have a child. I have one. I am donating him to God. The man of God received. And then, of course, one, two, three. And the story changed. That church sacrifices human beings. You know? But let me tell you where that child is today. It's a miracle. The enemy attacks you socially. Can I bring it down to your level? If you are a pastor or a pastor's wife, if you are called into ministry, you are a social being. God has called you to sort out people's destinies. Most of the time, the attack will come from your house. I'm talking to you. Either your spouse or your children or your trusted inner circle. Nulisia jirani yako, amefikia yako. Bado. <laughs> oh, nimesema mingi. Aya, waja nipunguse. Number three, the enemy attacks in the area of your body. So one is spiritual. The next one is social. Number three is your body. Listen, the devil attacks Job spiritually, his relationship with God. What was the motivation? Curse God. And some people think cursing God is saying, That's not cursing God. Cursing God is questioning his faithfulness. Yeah. When you begin to think in your mind, 
hivi yote Mungu anasemanga is it true ukianza kuambia Mungu nakupea masaa mawili nakupea mwaka huu you are now cursing god is turning away the word curse means to suppress to imprison to oppress to limit and to restrict when you reduce god to a position of inability you are cursing god ukifika mali usema hii ugonjwa wa Mungu aisingilia unakumbuka tamaa ya titanic alisema hata Mungu awesi awesi samisha hii kitu that's cursing god unakumbuka jamaa alisema hata Mungu akifungua milango ya pinguni Hii miaka yangu imeenda hata Mungu akitembea hakuna mtu atanipenda. Mimi nimelaaniwa hata mbingu ikifunguka mimi sioni kama niko na kesho. Cursing God spiritual. Number two is soulish. His family. His family. The wife. Children. His money. His wealth. And listen, look at me. Look at me. Some of you shetani anajua ulilelewa na Moshene. Ulilelewa na nini? Moshene. Kwa hivyo wewe kusemwa ni chakula cha kila siku. So hawezi kukuletea vita kwa hiyo in fact wewe ndio ukula vizuri. Lazima kuwe na kamoshene around. It's your daily bread. So hawezi kukuletea sasa najua wewe kusa mali. Kitu ina kustress ni ukiusa nothing throughout the day utaenda nyumbani roho ikisema nitaenda nitaenda dunia imeisha dunia imeisha he knows exactly where to attack you ha huh? yeah. they will make sure you are a faithful woman you are a loving woman you want to raise a family you love god you want a man of god and then he socially brings a stranger wale mmesoma kitabu ya Catherine Coleman how god used that woman until a social warfare came in a divorcee somewhere came and walked with her and then became very committed and passionate and finally married Catherine Coleman and for seven years she lost the anointing social attacks hmm? listen that's why you pray for who to marry na sio hiyo tu ombea watoto unasaa sema ile mbegu mbaya pita kando taivasho mbegu mbaya usikuje leo you know those things listen your children can be your hell na sio wote moja your wife your husband can your boss can be your hell your brother sio kama mko na moja kwenu kila jamii iko na moja Niko na moja kwetu. Shida yake ni ya kila mtu. Akipatwa na shida nyinyi wote mufunge kasi. Munaendeleaje na maisha na mimi nakufa? <laughs> Aliniandikia message siku moja. How can you be changing the world when your own is suffering? I told him he is part of the world. For the last one month I have not seen my mother. So on Saturday I went to see my mother. When I was about to leave, akafukuza my brother nje na wachukuu wake. I told her I wanted to leave akanikoja ngoja ngoja. Wewe toka wewe toka toka toka. Walipotoka akafungua leso yake. Akatoa hii pesa. Na kanipea. Akaniambia nakupea hii pesa itakusaidia kwa maisha yako. Now I will be showing you next week how warfare is done through such things. Unafikiri mama yangu alinipea pesa? Chinese ile shilingi ngapi kwangu? Naweza kula lunch hii pesa? Naweza nunua shati na shati na hii pesa. No. Si 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 hii hii hata nilikuta chama mwingine barabarani pasta rafiki yangu nikampea samani nimepea polisi pesa juzi 
nimebariki au au ma watchmen wanatuchungia hapa on sunday niliwapea pesa because wanatufungulia hapa chumapili tuko na ibada hapa mapema chumapili ya sunday service i gave them some money he specifically this one ilitoka kwa mama yangu nana nataka waachana na mimi this is a weapon this is what nitalala njaa hii haikuli baby nakupenda lakini hii you know what my mother did she fought my battles okay time is up i wanted to give you a testimony of how an act we did to our mother changed my trajectory when we went to the village and built my mama house we discussed with my brothers to change mama nyumba to change wakaanza ile ya eh ya mama sasa yeye amekuwa mzee hahitaji nyumba kubwa sio expensive sana tuweke tu mapati alafu tuweke plaster ndani alafu those kind of things nika realize kumbe sio mama yetu ni mama yangu kumbe wa jamaa isi mama yetu ni mama nikawaambia at least niwape opportunity budget ilikuwa 120000 i end up spending 3.5 and then i took a number of us we went home and opened my mama's house and then i bought her car along that line one of our members here in the church tells me daddy there is a property being sold and i want you to have it mm nikamwambia msichana yangu loan na yesa pewa bank ikiweka account yangu sote ni shilingi 1500 walikuwa ndaka hiyo property 12 million 12 million iko elgon view have an acre na iko na kanyumba mtu alikuwa amelete mtu lunch hour wa bank kuja 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 akakuja kukaa aliongelesha mwenye property kwamba ananunua property hakumwambia ni pastor wangu ambia ni rafiki yangu lakini mimi ndio ndahusika nayo tukaenda bank tukauliza nikaambiwa tuki over 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 wanafanya nini eh, nini value yangu you over value account yangu kukupea value account yangu kuliko unaweza pata 1500 mama yangu kuja njenga wendi naweza kutumia bila mtu kuleta kisirani wakati mama yangu tulipae fungo ya nyumba akanimumunya hapa na akaniambia vitu kwa masikio yangu enye haiko kwa kiingereza haiko kwa Kiswahili na siwezi waambia <laughs> what my mother told me six months later i got that piece of land you know what happened the owner of the property ali transfer title deed kwa jina langu kabla tujaonana one on one nikapeleka hiyo title deed yake kwa bank kununua shamba yake <laughs> nakumbuka mtu wa bank akisema shida nyinyi mapasta amuji kudanganya sasa unanunua shamba yako tulikutana na huyo mama kwa bank siku nile transfer pesa yake kwa account yake Wacha niwaambie na msiambie mtu hii. Wenye walipitisha loan yangu 12 million. Wale mnajua bank, wengine mnafanya bank. Kuna kiwango ya watu fulani wanapitisha loan na kwa masaa fulani. Loan haipi, kuna quorum na kuna masaa penye kichwa bado inafanya kazi. Kupitishaji wa loan haipiti saa tisa. Yangu ilipitishwa saa mbili usiku na watu wawili. Moja alikuwa Nairobi, moja alikuwa Eldoret. Leo ninaishi kwangu. Elgon View. Mama yangu. Juicy. Amenipea hii pesa. I will explain to you tomorrow what that means. 
The enemy will either attack you spiritually if your gate of breakthrough is ministry. That's why you realize most of us who are called into ministry, our struggles are very simple. Prayer, word, prayer, word, because iyo malango ndi iko na pesa yetu, iko na kibali yetu. Kama we ni muduma pesa yako, baraka sako, nyumba sako, magari sako, iko kwa madabao. Lakini namna ya kuchochea iyo moto ni maombi na neno na uduma. So Simon Rose anaenda ku invest pesa apate income alafu hiyo kampuni itaendelea mpaka atakapo invest. Aki hiyo invest kampuni na sama. Eh. Ni kama pastor kujukua sadaka na fungu la kumi aenda aweke kwa investment. Shetani nayo? Shetani nitakusema kwa baba. He will attack you socially. And he will attack your body. Give me one minute, just one minute. The next attack, baada ya nani kuatakiwa socially, watoto wake wakakufa, mke wake akamkecheli, mali yake ikaenda marafiki sake wakamkejeli wakamwambia eh 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 job marafiki sake wanamuuliza job ulifanyia ni Mungu sema ndugu sangu moyo wangu ni safi mikono yangu ni safi ambia job kwende huko job wacha uongo job sema mtu mwenye haki hawezi pitia hii utuambie ulifanyia nini Mungu job akasema ndugu sangu hakuna have you ever gone through issues and you can't explain to anybody because everybody think there is something you've done social mpaka muka anamwambia laani Mungu ya tatu akakuja mwili watu wa Mungu eh wengi wenu muone ugonjwa kama ni vita sickness is demonic is an attack from the enemy wanasema kitu inaangusha wahubiri ni 3Gs gold girls and glory hiyo ndio wanasema waje ni kuongezea ya tatu ya nne sickness sickness look at me that's why kuna ugonjwa ishikangi watu maskini because it's warfare ushatambua mtu akianza kupata pesa mali kiwango fulani the next thing unasikia kuna ugonjwa fulani ni vita. Ni vita. Ugonjwa inaweza kuwa kaburi ya mali yako. Ugonjwa inaweza kula mali yako. Ugonjwa inaweza haribu maombi yako. Ugonjwa inaweza kukunyima chat. Ugonjwa inaweza fanya ulaani Mungu. Sa warfare. Some of you hamufanyi dhambi, hamuibi, hamufanyi usharati, hamudanganyi, hamuibi kitu ya mtu. Na mnafikiri mko salama? Ah your warfare is physical physical sickness you make money it goes there everybody socially has helped you until they have given up it's warfare so you sit down to criticize those who are going through their challenges you don't even know that you are under the same attack but you are his tailor remember it's a strategy it's a scheme Some of you is social. You never keep relationships or friends. Everybody betrays you. But let me tell you something. If you follow through the principles of life, most great perceived successful men die under a condition of sickness. Yeah. Angalia watu wakubwa wote. Kuna kitu moja inawaua ugonjwa kwa nini ukipata pesa inakuja na blood pressure kwa nini blood pressure ni currency sikia eh sijui watu wa kula vizuri wajichunga sikia it's beyond that it's beyond that watu wa village wanakulanga ugali na manaku kila siku and they are in good health wanakula ugali na chumvi na mushroom 
na kukunywa maji enye haichachemshwa na wanaishi chokora wanakula matope it is not health it is not eating well na na no, waacha no, hata wewe kuchifanya lini umeanza kujua ku balance juzi kwenda huku it's a demonic attack unaumwa na mwili you can pray uabsubui ukiamka unaumwa na mwili mpaka saa tatu. Masaya maombi, masaya kuamka mapema, masaya kusoma neno, masaya kushughulikia watoto wako inakulwa na uchungu. Ikifika saa tatu, inaisha. Some things are not normal. Watu wengine hawezi kuwa na monthly periods within one 24 hours imeisha. Yako inaenda siku 14. Unaenda hospitali, una mesa dawa. Wacha kusema hormones. Sickness is demonic attacks. And the enemy knows the only way to attack some people is to make them pray forever for their sickness. So all your prayers from when you got to know how to pray to the day you die. Sickness. 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 When given a social betrayal, betrayal, family conflict, your son has become your daughter became pregnant. Hey, no, 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 no. Social, your mother dis- denounced you. Your brother took your money. You help people they done against you. The person who was supposed to pay to your wedding time. Hey, no, 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 Social. And some people, it is spiritual. You have funny dreams. You never dare God. Anytime you grow in God, anytime you choose to pray, every time to kitangasa, pray and fasting. Anasikia tu malaria. Na kienda kupimwa malaria itapatikana. Na fasting ikiisha, akipimwa malaria, hakuna. Ebu ni ulisia jirani mara amusha. Mulisia tumefikia yako ama kesho. Ama semaje? I want to make a prayer. If you are here and you are not born again, kama huko hapa na uja okoka, I want to give you a gift of salvation. Wakatu wengine wanatoka inje, the beginning of a new beginning is when the beginning begins with God. My friend, uh, Philip, is that you? Look at that boy. He called me yesterday at around 11. He was involved in a bad accident. Somewhere near Timborua from Nairobi at night. He's taking photos today. I don't know how many people died in that accident. Listen, God is a God of miracles. I wish we had a week of testimonies. The testimonies I've received last week, my friends, you can't explain. You can't explain. One of them was telling me you got a visa. I'm so happy. One of the worries I have as a pastor I have almost, almost 20 people, members from our church, who are relocating out of the country. Eight have gone already. People are moving. But you know what? They are carrying the grace to where they are going to. Sasa nasema aja watu, kabla ujasema, eh, nanani ndo yake inaenda vibaya, ujiulize na kwa nini we unashinda na dawa. It's the same devil. He knows what works for you. Kabla cha sema nani yako na ugonjwa na wanakana mama yako alimlani. Ujiulise kwa nini we maombi yako imeisha. Kanisa, you criticize. Usha unale watu walilelewa kanisa kina, kina Simon Ross, kina Swagat. Enye walukula kanisa, wakalala kanisa. Alafu kamuchisa katendeka ya pesa. Wakapata breakthrough. Sasa wanaweza kula chakula mesa ni mwao waki discuss pastors. Uko na simu ulipewa na Mungu ya kukecheli. It's your area. Amani ya bwana wenanya. This evening we have our breaking camp service. Come let's break camp. Bring me a friend tomorrow. We must exhaust this thing. And then we will put on the armor of God. 
and then we'll give our victories. And the church say, Amen. Can I assure you something? Yes. Out of this, you will begin a new season. Amen. Let me bless your giving today. And with our giving today, Lord, we acknowledge your lordship. Your lordship of our battles. Your lordship of our challenges. Your lordship of our dreams. Your lordship of our desires. Your lordship over every circumstance. There is one thing about you, Lord. When your presence is with us, your grace is sufficient. Even when we go under the shadow of the valley of death. With our giving today, we are acknowledging you as the source of our blessings. So we honor you with our tithe. Those who are within and those who are watching, we honor you with our fast fruit, our thanksgiving, our prophetic seeds. We thank you. Let our afternoon be secured by grace and our evening is blessed in Jesus' name. Have you?